Hello, I'm Kelgoth, and I am going to be playing some Ellen, Aline. Um, this is a new game. Uh, it just came out in early access a few weeks ago, uh, and I've been messing around and playing with it, and I noticed that there's a, a lack of content for this on YouTube, so I decided uh, I would put out some myself. Um, this is a survival crafting roguelike. Um, it has systems upon systems, um, much like a lot of, uh, Japanese RPGs do. Um, and it gets a little confusing, um, so due to the overall, uh, kind of overloading in systems, there's just so much going on, it, it, it can be kind of daunting. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, me playing through the game here, uh, will also help, uh, some people that are uh looking to play as well so let's go and uh let's create a new adventurer here and i am going to set myself as male pull this random here until i get something good um that looks fine Just a picture here that kind of matches and i i think i'm going to change the hair color it seems like the random doesn't change the hair color at all Yeah, this 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 works here. Uh, kind of matches here. Uh, let's uh, edit this and change our hair co color a little bit. So uh, hair is here. Change this color. Um, we go blonde. Go blonde like this. Yeah, kind of like a platinum blonde. That'll work. Um, and then we're gonna change our name. I'm gonna plug off. And uh, let's see, uh, alias Exorcist. So, uh, um, let's let's choose our let's choose our alias after we kind of finalized our uh, start starting build a little bit. Um, so our father was a cheater man. Our mother was a stubborn bard. Um, some was born in some well in a sad village. It's a. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know how these actually uh, affect the gameplay at all. Um, I guess uh, we'll see. Um, and as for um, our build here, so we got our race and our class, and then that affects our starting um, skills uh, over here and, and attributes and feats. So uh, let's see. A a juror, a nomad. Um, if I look, the Jewer, 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 um, gives us uh, these starting attributes with um, a little bit of modifiers on these, and it must be a bad will. Um, and then what these mean is when you gain experience towards that, uh, you get a modifier towards that experience. So it will gain dexterity a little bit faster than we would strength. And I assume that there's an experience penalty on Will with Red Dot. Um, and then we get Stealth, Bot Hidden, Travel, and Efficient Feeder. Um, I think I want to go some sort of melee build. Uh, in my testing around, I was playing a Archer, and I, f I feel like I spent probably half the time just gathering materials for uh, crafting arrows. And uh, it was a little bit miserable. Um, so uh, I want to stay away from um, kind of like a, a, a dex uh, archer build. Um, Spellcasting is very weird. So we're going to dabble in it, but we're not going to uh, fully explore it yet. Um, so uh, the Urlays, Urls, um, this gets Marksman, which is a uh, ranged uh, battle what we want um this is it looks to be a spell casting we're gonna stick stay clear of that um fairy pickpocket stealth casting little one elemental dust and little folk ill folk has weightlifting heavy armor mining um and a little passion for strength penalties on perception learning magic charisma um 
So Hillfolk might be an idea here. I already looked at this one. Uh, this is, looks to be another spellcasting uh, uh, race here. Uh, with uh, ha heavy into the spellcasting. Chaos shape. Um, this one, it looks like it's uh, a little more interesting because he's got this mutating body ability. Um, and they are barely a, uh, barely retain a human form. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I think we'll steer clear of that. A snail. I think a snail is probably um, like a challenge run uh, a race. And that's not kind of what we're looking for. Penalties and everything. And then I don't know what Snaily does. Um, look here. Can we see what Snaily does? Yeah. Uh, melts and salt. <laughs> okay. So salt just kind of kills you. Um, and then Lich, another spell casting. So it kind of feels like if we wanted to go a pure melee build, um, Hillfolk might be the only option. Like, look at strength here. Seven, seven, three, three with a penalty, 12 with a, with a passion, seven, five with a penalty, six with a penalty, four with a penalty, five with a penalty. So Hill, Hillfolk is going to be our, basically our only option. Kind of feels like they are uh, skewed a lot more towards casters here. Um, we'll we'll choose that. Uh, Hillfolk are a stout, rugged race of storage stature. Uh, so yeah, Hillfolk are basically uh, dwarves. Uh, they have a profound love for alcohol and some. Uh, so, um, one thing that I uh, understand about this game is a lot of the uh, translations. Uh, were done by chat GPT at least like their patch notes and stuff were done uh, definitely done by chat GPT because they say it right on the top um, so I'm I'm guessing that they mean dwarf but and and then it's just chat GPT uh, uh, translating it into hillfolk instead uh, because this is this is straight up uh, if you're reading this this is describing a dwarf to the, to the T so <laughs> Um, all right, let's choose our class here. Um, so uh, we got warrior here. Uh, this is very appetizing. Um, strength, endurance, dex with passions, two-handed, regeneration, shield, heavy armor. We already had heavy armor on the other one uh, on our race, so we'll get uh, even more heavy armor. Um, tactics, weapon map. So this is... Uh, kind of all the ones that we would like to go to but we don't have to choose uh, uh a warrior um because everything's seemingly uh, kind of open-ended you can kind of do whatever you want so we can mix and match a little bit and i'm thinking actually um going thief uh for a lot of these skills and go dual wielding um and then then i uh, we still get all these uh, bonuses but um, lock picking is quite nice to have. Uh, pickpocket probably wouldn't use. Disarm trap probably wouldn't use. But evasion and dual wield also kind of nice. And um, what is this? Thief luck. Oh, it's plus thirty luck. Wow. Okay, that's that's intense. Uh, the luck stat is uh quite low. So plus thirty luck is quite quite good. Um. Warrior gets weapon mastery. Um, and then the, the farmer seems to be, if you don't want to go the, down the whole combat route, you can do that. Because uh, there's seemingly options to kind of do whatever you want. If you wanted to play it closer to Stardew Valley, you could play a farmer, or you could play a tourist, or a pianist, uh, which is interesting. There are, um, there are jobs you can get in town that actually ask you to play music and um actually having the music skill means you can uh do the more challenging music jobs and they're quite easy because all you know you go into the the task it gets it puts you in a zone and you go play music and you get points and then you have to do some get so many points and uh so there's a whole job type uh related around uh music here uh <laughs> Um, which is quite interesting uh, that they kind of put a little bit of everything in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go Thief. So uh, we still have our um, high strength, 
but we also have high dexterity and high endurance so we have these three now we can see uh how what our potential is here so our potential i believe is just a straight modifier on our experience um so uh you can see that for charisma um we actually have a penalty here a minus five and and strength we have a bonus of plus 45 so we'll get more strength experience for for doing strength based items or strength strength based uh, actions uh then we'll, what we get if we're doing charisma based actions uh we get less charisma skill for that uh get mining weightlifting uh this this all we looked at um racial traits uh that's just our starting life anna and speed um we get bonuses while drunk we're an underground dweller so we get uh poison and darkness resist uh heavy eater uh increase our hunger cap uh, that'll be a little interesting in the beginning when you have a low anatomy skill you don't get very many uh, uh corpses and that's probably one of the best ways to feed yourself is just kill things get their corpse cook it up um but with no anatomy skill you're not going to get very many and so uh hunger is very much a thing in the very uh, very beginning of the game and then we got our thieves luck uh which is a good so uh i don't believe we're an exorcist um so let's see here uh the two familiar sex the freedom um i don't like any of these we'll hit reroll um I mean, we could just be hero. A uh, little too uh, boring. Hmm. Let's just uh, let's go, <laughs> bitchy Amber. Uh, let's go uh, your blade. So Kelgoth, your blade. And I believe that's uh, it here. Um, we're gonna do the default start. Uh, the default um so orth of the eternity is hardcore mode both of that de destiny manual save and and load will be disabled in our um because we're doing uh let's play i'm just going to choose no um and then there was also op options to do some extra races and classes um we're not going to worry about the, those right now uh, we'll do those in the let's hit create and get into it a long time ago now forgotten the remains of many civilizations are buried in the earth and the 11th era of Yilva began the scars from the rem Edo still unmended the fires of war started by the ancient uh, desert empire soon spread over the world and brought along a period of confusion to Yilva. Uh, after losing the Syrian airship on the western continent, the empire gradually withdrew from various regions. Humans celebrated the first victory and peace they had won. The people once again returned to their serene lives. However, they never forget the betrayal of Elias. El who remained quiet during the war. Eventually, 15 years passed. Okay. Uh, you are awake. No, lie down still. You were out cold for a while. Uh, it is fortunate that we found you before it's too late. Never wise for a human to step into the forests of Elea, especially amidst a night like this when the wind is strong and the trees are astir. Now we brought uh, you here, and it seems we're losing night, uh, a night of our urgent journey. Not that I'm complaining. Well, not much. At least my companion is content with the unexpected break. Are you a traveler? What brings you to Massilia? Uh, am I prying too much? Eh? Sleep well for now. There's always a calm when you truly need it. So when we get to the tutorial portions here, I'm going to um, kind of skip over what he's saying and just kind of sum up. Um, this is where our journey begins. Ash was sarcastic as ever, but he was more pleased than I was with the little break you unintentionally gave us. 
the fate lay ahead in Massilia, the truth of the world uh, of the world, and the choice we have made, Garza brought to Yulva. Unaware of what has yet to come, we gaze the flame of the bonfire, waiting patiently for the dawn to break. Okay. Um, our mysterious guest finally wakes up. Uh, there's porridge right by the bonfire. It's getting uh, cold, though. Uh, come to me when you're filled. We need to talk. Um, so I'm not going to eat the porridge right away. Um, good morning, sleepyhead. Don't worry about you're not hallucinating. I'm near him. I'm your guide to assist you on your journey. Uh, looks like you're woken up uh, for today, so I'll just give you this adventure log as a handy tool that allows you to replay our conversations anytime you want. Until, well, until we meet again and then. Okay, so I'm, um, I'm not going to eat this right now because we are not hungry. Um, we have our inventory. Um, so this is our bag. We have more bag slots here, and we have the three items in our Um here is our ability bar, and I'm going to take quick craft here, and I'm going to put it to quick craft. If I hit nine, it'll bring up my crafting menu for things that I can make uh, on the fly. And these makeshift arrows on my uh, uh, playthrough as a uh, archer, I, I was con constantly crafting these because uh, you have such a high miss rate um, that uh, it, it just felt like I'm just needing to make arrows, needing to make arrows, because I uh, was expanding them so quickly. Um, so, uh, let's see, Ashland, he's got a flesh mark, so we can talk to him. We've got our quest board, and then we got uh, Mayama, Aima. Uh, and then here's the world. This is turn-based, so when I move a square uh, action, like they will move as well. And enemies will move as, and whatnot. Time will pass, uh, but time doesn't pass when we do not. Um, oh man, you can get that out of here. Uh, we'll go with that. All right, talk to him. Okay, so he's gonna give us a pizza parchment. Um, uh, he, it's a it's a deed for lands like this. Um, and um, we're gonna take the this. And uh, we're going to read the land down. And that gives us this uh, hearthstone. And uh, I'm going to actually move this kind of off to the side. Um, and we can um, change our home name. It's currently Meadow. Um, so we'll just uh, do something fun. Like... Uh, Acron, random letters that I see. And then uh, now we can see that Ash uh, Ash wants to talk to us again. So did we claim the land? Did this quest over here? Um, we'll go talk to him again. I'm also wants to. Um, now the land is ours. He's going to give us a hatchet, and then we can start to work. He's going to give us 10 gold bars. Uh, there you go. They are, um, the gold bars are a, a currency specifically for um, things that go into your base. Um, and so being like, well, we'll see when we go talk to uh, Ima here. Okay. Uh, so he put some quests on, on the quest board, and that should be that. Um, Which are hot bars if we so want. So, um, the so it's noted when you're given things from uh, NPCs or you get rewards, they just pop onto the ground underneath you, and you need to pick them up. You need to left click them to pick. Them. And as this self-explanatory, we have the axe in hand, and then we can um, use it on. Uh, resources. Now it's worth a note that the, even though this is a axe, it's not a weapon. Um, 
the first time I played, I thought the axe I was I was using it as a weapon, but I was not. I was actually just a hand to hand combating. Your weapon slots are up here on the right, and you can't put it there. They have, and you can see it doesn't have any damage statistics or anything like that. Let's talk to Fima. And um, so she's going to give us a companion. What kind of animal would you like? And a little girl is apparently an animal. And all. <laughs> um, and it, I think she used to say pet. And the little girl was a pet, uh, but it's still, still uh, the translation is a little uh, rough. <laughs> um, but I am a dog person, so we're going to take a dog. Um, and then it's worth noting that if this uh, companion dies, it will reappear here in uh, Akron. Um, and then we it will have lost some... Uh, Talk to him and see the or how to interact with the companion. If we talk to him, see that there's this affinity. You would lose some infinite uh, affinity um, when they die, and you have to come back here and recruit them into your party. Uh, and you can have currently you can have one ally, and you can take feed points to uh, increase that, so you can have more. Okay, let's look at the quest board here. Uh, so we got three quests, uh, all from Ash here. Um, so we're going to just take all three essential equipment. Um, this shared container. So he wants us to build a, a, a chest that we will give permission so anybody can take uh, things out and put them in. Um, and because there, this is a little bit like, um, say, like Terraria, where you do get... Uh, other people in your little village here equip themselves and and do work and gave us these things um dirty box um it's eye-catching so that means it has a better price if you look over the um uh, can't, i can't point it but it's in green under a subscription um you'll see that a lot of these have uh these of like modifiers so i'm gonna hit uh r and grab it and then that puts it in my hand i could also just put it in the bar down here but um and then that allows me to place it down um so i will just kind of move off to the right and place it down he also wants me to um kind of go into the chest change the permissions here currently is private uh and if i change it in uh, shared uh it is now uh available for uh other people that are in my village to kind of go and close that and then um our quest uh we put it on the ground and we uh change its permissions now we go to ash board us for doing so um so e it, it gave us plus one karma for doing that quest. Um, not sure, entirely sure what karma does at this point, um, but uh, you do acquire it for basically completing uh, deeds. You lose it for for actually like failing deed quest board. Uh, quest board. All right, so let's do our next one. Um, let's uh, let's do the, the art of craft craftsmanship and build a house. So he wants us to build a house. Um, so we are going to make a workbench. Uh, so uh, we need to grab gather wood for that. So it says uh, uh, go and gather wood from trees here. So we will put our axe in our hand. Now, it'll, if you look while I'm like hovered over this yellow flower here, without the axe in hand, it's it's hard, and with uh, the axe in hand it is that all equivalents to um, basically how much time it's going to take how many turns that you take to do such things so um, and if we go over the tree um, this gives us it says on the in uh, blue here 
I can cut trees, I can uh, mine wooden walls. Um, interesting that they said mine. Once again, it's chat GPT, so there's uh, some translation issues. Um, but I cannot interact with the trees without the without the axe equipped here. And then I right click it and I will go over to it. You can see that I spent it a few turns there. Um, the tree, um, uh, the tree did drop a few items, and uh, I I picked it up. If it says here, you pick up bark. It's a new item. I picked up tree beetle logs. It's a new item. I picked up resin. That's new as well. And then also this uh, hooded pond, and it's like a little uh, ooze. Um, and they can, they're occasionally in trees, and so you just, um, I'll have to kill that thing. We're going to skip past all this. And then, uh, we're going to attack this. You can see our pet, our puppy had already attacked it, so move forward and attack it. It died. Um, what are the things I'm going to go into my character sheet? And I am going to go over to, I get, I think I do it from here. Um, yes. So I can put in, and when I click strength, it puts it up here. So, um, I'm going to look to see if there's any skills that I want to put on top. You see my lumberjacking is now 1.04. It started at 1. We got a little bit of experience for chopping, uh, chopping down that uh, tree. Um, we'll put some more on that list in a second here. Um, now that we chopped the tree, oh, and I should mention that uh, I did change a setting, and I guess it carried through from my other game that uh, auto picks up things from being um, from when you harvest them. Um, so if I hit uh, and I go escape, go to my config. Um, it's your game, and uh, it's right here. Control auto pick harvested stuff. So that that means that it automatically picked up everything from the from the tree. Normally they would just drop on the ground there, and then you would have to walk over them. All right. Let's see if I can craft that workbench. I need more. Yeah, I only needed two, so I can craft the workbench. Okay. At the workbench, get them past all her dialogue. So um, I'm gonna put that in my hand again. I'm gonna walk over to next to where we want to place it and place it down. And now we can go talk to Ashland. Talk to Ashland, and there we go. Um, he wants us to now make a torch. Um, the strings I'll need to uh, be crafted from vines to workbench. So, um, vines are. Do I see any? Yeah, there's some over here to the left. Um, so, I will walk over there and I will right click on the vine to do um, to harvest it. And it looks like I also came up with a recipe. I learned how to make a vine bush. That in my quick craft it is not so it's gonna be on a workbench of some kind maybe not the workbench but there are other basically benches or or crafting tables uh, out there and so I'll be able to do that. so I'm gonna also um, grab a couple more now this dark line right here this is a zone line so I can't harvest any of the materials that are over there um, in fact if I walk over into that zone it brings me to the world map, and then I click over to the zone. It won't look like this. This is this is just a representation of the next square, but the next square actually will be randomized. So um, I'm going to gather a couple more things here. Back to that. Um, okay, we're getting tired. We have the tired uh, down here. Um, and that's because our uh, stamina here is low. And 
Uh, we lose stamina for uh, harvesting things, crafting things. You don't lose it for combat, um, but you do lose lose it for other action. Okay. Um, let's go see how much the torch takes to craft here. We need to make the string. The string will take two stamina to uh, craft, so uh, I will just use up both my stamina. And then it puts this little face here from, of the fairy when your stamina is goes to zero. Or, and it's worth noting that once you go to zero, you start taking damage. But if you queue up something else, it's a, a, a lot of stamina. Like if I were to go and uh, create... 10 of something no yeah well this is makes zero um but anyways uh it will start eating off of your hit points and you can just kill yourself uh by crafting uh so say if i did 16 more on top of these two um i would take uh 36 damage and then I would be dead and I had done that a few times in my uh, personal playthrough all right we're at zero um, when you craft things it kind of annoyingly puts it into your hand so uh, I uh, where you can place it down uh, it's nice when you craft a, something you actually want to place down but when you're crafting anything else it's, it's a little bit annoying we're going to just hit I just hit my bar to kind of get rid of that I hit one and then I'm going to meditate the so meditate is basically a uh, a sleep without without using a bed so first off actually can I craft a um a ship bed I need one more tuft of grass actually so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna like this here hopefully I get Tuft of grass. Um, if a uh, okay, we got we got tuft of grass. So I picked up tufts of grass. So I'm going to make the this makeshift bed. Oh, I need one more leaf. Don't kill myself. I got a leaf there. Okay. Now I'm going to make the makeshift bed. Craft that there. It is going to hit me for some damage here. But I'm doing that because you get more stamina back when you sleep in a bed. Um, and the better the bed, the more stamina as well. Um, in addition, you will get some hit points back. So um, beneficial to, to use the bed over meditate. Which meditate you can do if you don't have a bed. Um, so we will sleep. Okay. Slept for nine hours and, um, continue on. Let's make this torch. Torch. Take it. And... Equip it into our light slot. So, um, this is our light source slot. Torch is in hand here. We'll put it there. And now you can see that I can see more around your character. Um, and let's talk to Ash, wherever he is. Good problem. Rolls are kind of hard. Don't kill. Oh, they almost killed the puppy. Um, yeah, we need to get a weapon um, in here. Uh, he, he will give us a goal now. Goal is build a house and land. So he wants to um, build a build a house by enclosing a space with walls and installing the door, um, so we can. Go and here and craft um, grass walls and a grass door, and then it'll auto roof uh, on 
on top of it. So, um, we need a lot more of these. So, we're going to go and uh, harvest kind of grass and oh, basically all this all this plant life. Um, so she's just telling us that uh, food will spoil over time, and we just picked up a mushroom, actually a truffle. Um, so this thick uh, strength potency that'll give you kind of bonus to your strength potency score uh, while you're metabolizing it. So that's that's good. That so that means if we were to cook that, it would also have retained that. Um, and then it also has rare. So we could eat this rare. Uh, raw, um, but we we have this vegetable soup right now that we'll use. Anyways, we got a herb from that. Um, the herbs have traits on them, so this one has uh, hemostasis on. So when we craft, um, say like bandages, we can put the herb in as an optional thing, and it will put that hemostasis uh, ability onto the bandage. Um, okay, we don't have a, only have leaves, so we need to work in here. Uh, we just leveled up our gathering skill. Actually, let's open up our character sheet and, uh, look at gathering. Point four. If we put that on, we can watch ourselves kind of increase as we're kind of going on. So I'm just going to go, I'm probably going to go until I hit zero, and then I will sleep again. Um, I do want to watch myself not get too uh, too intense with sleeping, because um, food's going to be an issue, and I'm, when I sleep here, most likely we'll get hungry again. Or get hungry, and we'll eat that soup, and then we won't have any extra food on us, really. So we'll sleep here. And we woke up hungry. I am going to uh, eat that soup. Here's the soup. Eat it. And it's, it's going to give us a bonus to our... Uh, our... Perception. Um, really see it. But it should have given us a bonus. And then, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, and then we're going to come back next. We're going to build a house and we're going to continue all, all the little quests here. Uh, we're not going to venture out in, uh, beyond this tile un until we have a proper wooden weapon in hand. Uh, that way we don't basically have a chance of just suiciding into some... As you saw, that squirrel was quite tough. Um... So uh, I'll see you in the next episode.